My name is Matthew Neese. I'm the senior pastor of the Gospel Tabernacle Assembly of God Church located in New Boston, Texas. I'd like to minister to you just for a little while out of the book of Zechariah chapter 6 and verse 4. Joshua is the high priest of Israel during this time. Zechariah is a prophet that is inspired and led by the Lord to speak to a man named Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel is commissioned by God to rebuild his temple in Jerusalem. And look at what he says. This is the word of the Lord unto Zerubbabel, saying, Not by might, nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord of hosts. To the Christian church, Christian community, this verse gives us an insight of how God works within that Christian community. God only works by His Spirit, and His Spirit works by faith. Man cannot do anything in the kingdom of God by might and power. In other words, when men try to do the work of God, try to do the things of God by their might, by their power, by their abilities, by their intellect, by their hand, by their trickery, by manipulation, psychology, whatever you want to call it, when man tries to do it outside of God, then it is going to be a failure. But when Christian men, Christian women led by the Holy Ghost operate within the power of the Holy Ghost, in other words, God does the work, Christian people trust God to do the work, then it will be completed. And we know by studying the book of Zechariah that Zerubbabel did by the power of the Holy Ghost complete the temple of God. The modern church that tries to do the work of God by their might and power and not by the Holy Ghost is a flesh pot. It is a church that is, may have a name of Christianity attached to it, but it is a complete work of flesh. Man's power, man's might, man's intellect, man's wisdom. It's not of God. The church must be built by the power of God through the Holy Ghost. Now, the Holy Ghost works, as I said a moment ago, by faith. It works by this. The cross is the means, Jesus is the source, and, the, and faith in Christ and crucified is how it works. Jesus is the source, cross is the means, and then faith is how it all works. We must rest within God and allow the Holy Spirit to do the work. Man gets tired of trusting in God and tries to allow the, themselves to do the work. You must wait upon God, do it God's way, do it within the confines of the Word of God, and let the Spirit do the work. If you don't, it's a flesh pot. There's two types of people on this planet, sons of Adam, sons of God. Sons of Adam operate in the flesh, flesh is flesh. Sons of God operate by the Spirit, that which is Spirit is Spirit. If a Christian community, a Christian home, if the husband tries to be the husband according to the ways of the world, he's going to fail miserably. If the Christian wife tries to, do, tries to be a Christian wife or a mother or a wife, by the world, she's going to fail miserably. It must be done by the Spirit. So in other words, the Christian home can only be a Christian home by the Holy Spirit. The husband can only be a godly husband by the Spirit. The wife can only be a godly wife by the Spirit. The raising of the ch children must be done by the Spirit. Everything within the Christian community must be done by the Holy Spirit or it is done according to man's power and man's might and it will fail miserably. It is a flesh pot. It's not of God. It is of man and it stinks in the nostrils of God. Now remember, God only operates by His Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit operates by faith in Christ and Him crucified. Jesus is the source, the cross is the means, and faith in Christ and Him crucified is how the Holy Spirit works in the church and into the Christian home. I want to invite you to come worship with me. Every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock, we have a prayer meeting. Sunday morning at 9.45 is Sunday school. 10.30 or 10.45 is church and then we have prayer meeting on Monday night at 6 o'clock, 
study the Word of God Monday night or Wednesday night at 6 o'clock. And we have youth ministry. We have children ministry. All by the Word of God. All by the power of the Holy Ghost. We want to invite you to come worship with us. Come out. Be with us. You're invited. God bless you until we meet again.